Hey, what's up, guys? Sandeep here. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to share my Infosys interview experience. Uh, so I applied for an interview, uh, like uh, for an interview at Infosys uh, through a referral with a friend of mine. He works at Infosys, so he gave me a direct referral. And I applied around two months back, and I gave the uh, like I completed all the rounds of the interview. Uh, so here I'll share all my interview experience. So before starting, it is for a ReactJS developer profile. And it was two plus years of experience. So yeah, before starting to keep in mind. So there were a total of three rounds, technical round number one, technical round number two, round number one was one hour, round number two, which is a techno managerial round kind of, which is 30 minutes. And there is an HR round, which is 10 to 15 minutes. So let's jump to the questions for round one, which is technical round one. So the first question the interview asked me, uh, tell me what are the ES6 features that I've been using in my projects. So I explained all the ES6 features that I've been using uh, in my current organization, in my current projects and all. So yeah, that's that. The second question they asked me about difference between map and for each. So if you have been using, uh, if, you, if you are using uh, like to render any UI, uh, by the common method that I've been using is the map method. And for each is kind of a different method. So you just need to understand what's the difference between a map and a forage and how does they like differ. So if you don't know this exactly, you can Google it up and uh, keep an understanding on the same. The third question, what is a shallow copy and what is a deep copy? Again, um, I explained it verbally. So that was enough. I didn't write any example for this. Uh, can you explain me the difference between let, const, and var? Again, this topic is on hoisting. So if, if you guys know hoisting, you would easily understand and uh, like you will easily explain it to the interviewer. Like the fifth question was, like, have you worked with promises? I said, yes. And then he was, he was saying like, can you explain me uh, and write down a small piece of promise code uh, with any of your like JS editor of your choice? So I wrote down a promise code, uh, sample promise code and explain the all the process what are the different processes are there in promises yeah after that he was explaining he was saying me can you tell me the difference between promises and async await so i told the difference between a promise and async await there's one main key difference between this so if if you know you can easily tell them if you don't know just google it up so the other question was what is call apply and bind method again and you uh, explain me with an example so all this set of question he was uh, expecting me to uh, give an example because you just wanted me to see whether I have a real hands-on experience on all of these methods or all of the question above. The other one was what is the rest and spread operator? Again, show me an example. He was expect expecting me to show an example. The other set of question is what is slice, splice method in JavaScript and what is the key difference between them? What is strict mode in JavaScript? What is JSX and can browser directly understand JSX? So which is no. And after I said no, then he was expecting me to answer it. Why you said no? Like, how will the browser then understand JSX? If you write in the form of JSX, how will it understand? So if you know, it is very easy to understand, uh, easy to tell, because when you run NPM run build on a React app, like uh, the tr Babel transpiler transpiles all your code from JSX to ES5 code, so which is readable by the browser. The 12th question was like, make a small form component. He was expecting me to make a small form component. And within the form component, uh, within the form component, he was ex expecting me to uh, have a two inputs, which is one would be the name, another would be the password. And we need to, I, I was expecting, uh, he was expecting me to validate it, validate the form. And whenever all the validation has been done, it will be successfully printing a message called form submitted. Now uh, the after and he gave me a timeline of around 10 minutes to complete this mm, so i did it within the time frame itself uh like uh, like the other question next question he was asking me about let's say you want to make an api call where you want to fetch the data even before component did mount then where will you do the api call so if you know all the process of mounting phase it will be very easy for you to answer this question because in the mounting phase, the first method that runs is constructor, then get derived state from props, then render, and then component it mounts. So you need to know all these processes in between. Uh, React hooks, explanations, and use for lifecycle methods. So basically, 
he asked me to simulate the right life cycle methods within a class component on react hook so he was saying how would you do component did mount and mount did update using react hooks what is the key main difference between react use memo and react memo before this question he asked me directly like do i know what is use memo and react memo so he was saying me what is the key difference between them uh, the 16 one what was what is basically he was he generally asked me questions on redux what is redux and when to use redux and some basic more questions on redux workflow so that was all on redux and number 17 was a few more sample questions on whether i do no typescript and have i used uh, like worked on a project explicitly with typescript and few more questions about webpack what is webpack and how it helps in bundling and every other things i don't have in-depth knowledge of webpack so i just said a basic concept on webpack why is being used and some concepts around that so these were the questions that that were asked in technical round number one and yeah so now round number two which ha which was like one week after round number one so this was a techno managing round this was uh, like yeah so this was scheduled for 30 minutes so first the interviewer uh, it was a female so she asked me about explain your role in my current project and what i do what is my tech stack what is my daily day-to-day -day job so i i like explain him all the processes that i do in my current company and how do i handle all these things uh, like what he was what she was expecting me to answer and she was questioning me uh, with some little here and there things uh, that i do this or not that or not so something around that line he was questioning me i don't exactly remember everything but it's in, it was a role basis kind of question the second one did you ever work directly with a client which is i know because i work for an in-house project currently for a company and which everything is in-house so i am not getting to work directly with a client because the project itself with the, is uh, bounded within the company itself so can you uh, like the third question like can you tell me how will you plan the design architecture so uh, since um, i was a front-end developer he was expecting me to answer like how how you how you how we basically maintain a design system uh, within the company itself so if if you ever have been using design system so you can easily tell the architecture flow so that is that so you need to know a little bit about design system so if you want an in-depth uh in-depth like uh, topic on design system you can comment down below because this question can be asked in techno management round very often i get i got two times asked the same question about design system because just because i'm a front-end developer i need to understand design systems so yeah, if, if, if you guys are interested in design systems, I can make a dedicated video on how to tackle the design system questions. Uh, the fourth one, like uh, the fourth one was like, do you follow agile or scrub method within the company? So I said, I follow, we follow basically agile method. So she was asking me how about the, like how long the sp uh, single sprint runs and uh, like what are the timeline basis? So he was, she was asking me about questions here and there on that one. Fifth one, like, uh, uh, like she wanted to know the total workflow right after I push my code to a repository. So I push, uh, like, I push my code to Bitbucket. After I push my code to Bitbucket, she wanted to ask me everything what happens within that time flow, uh, like the or uh, whatever happens on the CI/CD pipeline, how it gets deployed. So everything she wanted to know that I do have a basic understanding of whole process running within the company and the application. The sixth one, like, do you do you know component level testing, which she was indicating unit testing. So I know basic of unit testing. So, so I said her the same that I know basic of unit testing. And do you have any idea about CI/CD? So I have basic idea about CI/CD, uh, just in general and not in depth. So I said her the same. So these were all the questions that she was satisfied with. Basically, it was like 20 minutes or so, 20, 22 minutes or something. And it was all done for that round because it was a small 30 minutes round yeah so and round three was like two days after uh, round three which was the hr discussion as hr called me for the salary discussion and um, that's it for everything because hr round it's not much fun there because she only asked me about qualifications and other grades and everything and discussed me if i am holding current currently any offer or not so this was pretty much for this video guys it, if you like this video do like share and comment for this video and if you want specific more videos like this i'll be bringing more sets of interviews that i've given for this year 
So yeah, thanks for watching guys.